We are taking it in three different series. First service, break the spiritual limits over your family. Second service, break the limits over your family through visions and imagination. And third service, engaging the power of the blessing to break your family limits. Break the spiritual limits over your family. I'd like you to understand this morning that the spirit, spiritual realm is the actual real world. The spiritual realm is the actual real world. And if you are ignorant about it, you will suffer more manipulation. You will suffer more delay, more setback. Why? Because that is the control point of everything in life. We are more rich in the spirit realm than the eyes can see in the physical. That's why what you cannot be able to assess spiritually can never be put in your hand physically. The real limitations over lives and families is not in the physical realm, but in the spiritual realm. It's not in the physical realm, it's in the spiritual realm. A lot of families are destined for greatness, but they are limited in the realm of the spirit. So if your eyes can be open where you can be, there will be a positive reaction. You will react positively over your present state. Hear me? Your present crisis does not mean your future hopelessness. It does not. You may be confronted with ugly situations now, but that does not say that there is no hope for you for tomorrow. The future is too bright for you to end up being wasted by satanic forces. So don't allow your present situation to limit your future family manifestation. So you must make up your mind today that whatever looks like a limit over my family spiritually must be broken. Ephesians 1 and verse 3. Ephesians 1 and verse 3. Ephesians 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Where? So it's not in the earthly places. He has blessed us with all, not some. Another translation say, all manner of spiritual blessings, not some, all, all kinds. All form of valuables. So if you are bankrupt spiritually, if you are blinded spiritually, you will just, you will just conclude that um, life is not fair to your family. It's a lie. It's a lie. As a father, as a mother, you suffer your family because of ignorance. You suffer the children because you are blinded spiritually. <laughs> and Paul said, for the God of this age has blinded the minds of many. 
The enemy will prefer you blinded, ignorant, to the reality of this truth so that you don't go after it. No wonder scripture says they know not. Neither will they understand. He said, all the foundation of the earth are out of course. Isaiah 82, I mean Psalm 82 from verse 5. Psalm 82 verse 5. Psalm 82 verse 5. They know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. <laughs> Spiritual blindness increase your difficulties. Not physical darkness. You say all the foundation of the earth are out of course. When you are blinded spiritually, things will go out of course for your family. No wonder God said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They know not. They know not. Everything that we make life fulfilling, everything that we make life glorious for your family, they are already existing. Spiritual blessings. Now, I want to give you a picture of what the spiritual blessings. When Isaac blessed Jacob, what did he give him? What did he give him? I gave him spiritual blessings. I gave him spiritual blessings. He didn't give him plot of land. He didn't give him vibut. Neither did he give him fridge or microwave. He didn't give him truck of corn or bag of wheat. He gave him spiritual blessings. And he said, with the blessing have I sustained him. Hear me? Your family is suffering from ignorance. Not that one thing is strong and has vowed not to let anybody go. The moment this understanding is in place, the first thing that will happen to you is to seek how you can reclaim your identity. He that is born of the flesh is flesh. He that is born of the spirit is what? Spirit. A recovery of your spiritual identity will bring about your recovery. So the first limit that must be broken over your family is to break the limits that is hiding your identity. Let me shock you now. Every one of us, there is how we are perceived by people. That is determining what we receive. The same way it is in the realm of the spirit, there is how you are perceived spiritually. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Who are you? So every one of us has an identity in the realm of the spirit as a father, as a mother. Even Jesus asked, what do men say I am? He asked this one, he asked this one. Peter said, thou art Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. 
if you can remove the veil, which is what Satan is using, according to Isaiah 25, on this mountain shall the Lord of hosts remove the veil and the covering cast that is spread over all people. So there is a veil. There is a veil. A veil of spiritual blindness. Because the moment your eye is open to this truth, your identity will change. Your identity will change. Like I said before, there is how you and me is perceived in the realm of the spirit. One of the first things that must be unveiled is your identity. The people that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. And you shall know the truth, and the truth you know shall set you free. There is something unusual about identity. It reinforces authority. The moment you reclaim your identity, the first thing that will happen to you, you will reclaim your authority. When authority is restored, you don't beg God. You don't tell God what to do. He says, speak, I will confirm. Speak, I will stamp. As far as the earth is concerned, hear this. You determine what happens on the earth. As God's representative, you are his judge here. He said, thou shalt decree a thing. And it shall be what? But on the contrary, many families are living in pity. Living in fear living in shame living at the mercy of people you are not to live at the mercy of anybody God has already shown you mercy you are not to live in pity people they live, that live in pity they end up in the pit you are here as a man, as a woman of authority. So God has put you in control. The moment identity is reclaimed, authority is restored. And once authority is restored, you now begin to decide what happens to your family progress. Your family breakthrough is no longer an issue of struggle, an issue of faith, F-A-T-E. Whatever you decide, you enforce it. This is what we want to see. And God is saying, is that what you want to see? I will make it happen. I will take just for what authority, I mean identity can bring about since it's the main core of breaking spiritual limits. Identity determines dignity and respect. Once identity is restored, no devil mess you up or mess your family up. Why? Respect goes with honor. There are people you can't mess up. Am I saying the truth? There are families you can't mess up. Why? There is something they know that you don't know.
So the moment identity is restored as a father, as a mother, your family wears what we call honor. Say with me, honor. Your family wear what we call respect. They may be saying some things behind, but they can never say it in your front. Because they know the consequence. Once identity is restored, the devil does not play anyhow around your house. True or false? There are some fathers that behave like weak head. What I mean by weak head... Over matters that they should take decision and take a stand is the wife that will take a stand. My prayer for you or such a person, today, God will fire boldness into your heart. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. To some, the wives are more daring than the husband. When I mean daring, they can confront challenges. They can resist oppositions. So if there is anything that such a father we need to reclaim this morning is dignity. There is dignity in fatherhood. You are not a boy. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? You are a father. And one identity and reason why God bless you as a father, <laughs> you are the one that will command respect for the family. If you don't command respect, you will end up in mockery. Number two. Identity determines possibility. The way you are perceived in the spirit determines what bows to you. I say to one, go, and they go, and to another, come, and they come. Your identity determines your possibilities. As soon as they hear of me, everyone here has a voice in the realm of the spirit. As soon as they hear of me, they shall submit themselves and the stranger shall fade away. Your identity determines your possibility. For with God, all things are what? Possible. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary will not be able to resist nor gainsay. Hear me and hear me where all things are possible for you. You see, they are still afraid. Identity determines possibility. Why? You have now known that you are not just a figurehead, but a proper head. I said to one, go! And they go. And to another, come! And they come. So when you understand and reclaim your identity, doors are not shut against you. I say doors are not shut against you. So which door do you want to see open for your family? Those doors must be open. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Why? 
having understood been able to understand your spirituality, you can now say, thy gates, my family gates, shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. Isaiah 60 verse 11. My family gates shall not be shut. My family gates of success. My family gates of progress. The path of the just is as a shining light that shine brighter unto a perfect day. Proverbs 4 18. So if your family have not been making progress, it is your fault. But today you will react and break that limit. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. I am the one that open it. And no man can close. And any door I close. No man can do what? And scripture is telling you. Christ in you. Is Christ in you? Is Christ in you? Are you sure? Is it Belgium Christ or Taiwan Christ? Christ in you. The hope of what? Christ can be you and you end up in crisis. Christ can be in you and you end up in closed doors. No, you experience more open doors. From today, doors will be opening for you. Any door you want open, they will open for you. Christ in you. So you walk in that consciousness. You are carrying an identity. Christ in me. Christ in me. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Man, there is more better hope for me. I'm seeing my, I'm seeing my family going from glory to glory. You better see it. You better see it. If not, you will live in depression. Hear me? You're going from glory to glory. is not at the mercy of the economy. No way. It's not at the pains of pride. And he will be humble by himself. You know, price gold with pains. It will teach you a painful lesson. By the time it has given you that painful lesson, your head will be cool. You will be cool like ice water. When you see people, you just greet them and say, God bless you. <laughs> Please, I beg you. If there is anything we need to do is to work on our character. Working on your character goes with discipline. Discipline brings about what we call self-restraint. Self-denial. There are some things you will have done but because of where you are going, no, this thing may stop me from where I'm going to. You hold back. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yeah. Lastly, identity fuels faith. Your faith limit is your family limit. Whatever is possible with God is possible with faith. If there is anything you must do to move your family forward, please keep increasing your faith capacity. I'm still studying faith. Oh. I'm still growing. I'm still growing. A wise man will hear an increase in learning. A man of understanding shall attain unto what wise counsel. For with men it is impossible, but for with God all things are possible. And Jesus said, if thou canst believe, thou shalt see the glory of the Lord. So the glory of your family is the release that have been added to your faith. Every time there is an addition to your faith, your family climbs to a new level of glory. So if you don't want to grow in faith, your family will grow in pains. Every time you grow in faith, you reduce groaning for your family. Every 
time you grow in faith, you reduce groaning for your family. You reduce the level of suffering. You reduce the level of pressure. You are forcing them into pleasure. Why? Something new has been added. That is fueling confidence. That is batting hope. When faith is at work, hope cannot be quenched. He that is joined to the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Faith, faith steers up hope. Faith steers up hope. What are you hoping to see for your family? Faith says, I will get it done. I will get it done. Hear me? You need more faith to change your family level even this year. Your family was at a level last year, but this year, another level. This year, another level. Yeah. Now, let me conclude by saying this. You cannot change where you are, where your family is now, until you change who you are. Who you are now is the foundation of what your family will become. You cannot change where your family is now until you change who you are. So make it a commitment. Not that you will just sit down and be watching. You have heard the message now. Oh, today's service was powerful. In fact, the way pastor was roaring eh? Oh, my God. <laughs> make a commitment. Hear me? The commitment you make is the change your family sees. Commitment. Commitment. If you make commitment to see your family change, many things will begin to change. The lies will begin to fall for your family in pleasant places. Number two. What you are known for will determine where you will be placed in life. Know something good. Know something good. Breaking spiritual limits means going for more spiritual understanding. Do you want your family levels to change? Please get to know something that will give them a transition. A change of status. Don't suffer with a uh, a knowledge of uh, 1995. Get to know something new. He said to your faith, add what? Knowledge. What are you adding? What you know now will determine where you will be placed. So where your family is placed is a product of what you have known. If you know better, your family will begin to live better. If you know better, your family will begin to live better. Number three, your family destiny cannot change without your decision. And your family glory will not change without your participation. Decision determines destination. Where your family is now may not be too good, but it can be better. I say it can be better. But your decision must be in place if it must be better. Your decision must be in place if it must be better. Your decision must be in place. So when you decide it, you now begin to walk towards it. When you decide it, you must begin to walk towards it. The moment you begin to walk towards it, that will be in the second service. Ideas will begin to pop up. Ideas will begin to pop up. What to do? And the sons of Issachar were men of understanding. And their brethren were their command. Why? Because they knew what to do. What Israel ought to do. But I pray for someone here. Your family will not be on the same spot again. Rise up to your feet. I'd like you to lift up your voice now and pray. It's not a prayer of a, Lord, change my story. Lord, I decide today, my family is breaking out of obscurity. My family is coming out of lack. My family is coming out of shame. My family is coming out of stagnation. Things must begin to work from today. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Let God hear your voice now.
Jacob said, I will not let thee go except you bless me. My family story must change. Lord, I make a decision today. I am pressing for greater glory. I am pressing for greater honor. Zikuka prekleketosi zaleanda. Jerusia preklekotalia. Lift up your voice. Declare from your heart. A change must take place. When you make up your mind for a change, the chains will break. The forces will bow. Declare what you want to see. That change must manifest. Le Ramboro, Shegodesia, Leante Kale Rouge, Shegodeba. I refuse to be on the same spot. I refuse to remain on the same spot. My family cannot be on the same spot. My family cannot dance around in circles. Le Rouge Capone de Rutali, Shekosi Zenare Taliane, Rido, not the Licatoria Balata. Whatever look like an embargo, a limitation. The barrier is shattered. The barrier is shattered. Le roba tona zianta. Le kude de rezonabre di le tulaza. Lero, decoleros, enzegueros, le cutari angegere dune suze ligata. In Jesus' name we have prayed. He said, I will contend with him that contended with thee. And I will save thy children. You are going to pray from the depth of your heart. Whatever is fighting my family breakthrough from my foundation. Whatever look like an evil covenant. A marine covenant. That has not allowed you to marry. That has not allowed your family to break through. You are going to engage the blood right now. Scripture said, turn you to your stronghold. You prisoners of hope, he said, because of the covenant of the blood, he said, you shall be set free. Lift up your voice right now. By the blood of Jesus, every foundation and limitation, whatever represents an evil covenant that is not allowing my family to break through, by the blood of Jesus, let the barriers be scattered. Let the barriers be scattered. I engage the blood. Against every barrier, every witchcraft manipulation, lift up your voice and declare, let the barriers be broken. I take my liberty in this service. Let go hear your voice. Let go hear your voice. Jenod Rahi Zose, Jekuteri Halotapa, Le Paron de Gleri Shatona. Zezane Kliketoria, Jetopelia, Elamon de Coreto, Jekoterete Ledia. The barrier is broken by the blood of Jesus. The barrier is broken by the blood of Jesus. The barrier is broken by the blood of Jesus. The barrier is broken by the blood of Jesus. The barrier is broken. Jego 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. All eyes closed, all heads bow. You are here, you are not born again. That is the beginning point of removing the spiritual limitation. If that limit is not removed, God does not have access. Scripture says, if a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and all things are become new. You want to make it right with Jesus? To initiate the breaking of the limits over your life and your family? Put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord and be my Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, congratulations. Carry your bag and your Bible and come quickly. I want to pray with you now. God bless you. Put those hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus if you are coming. Come quickly. God bless you. Come, come, come. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus, unto them that come unto you, shall we no wise cast out. They've accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior. And I stand as your servant, decreeing today that the guilt of their past they are rolled away. Every cause, every accusation, every legal hold the enemy had over your life, today it is broken forever. It is broken forever. As this oil come upon you, I decree no yoke no bondage remains upon your life you are going home free you are going home free you are free forever free spiritually free, free mentally free family wise free in your body free in your mind free all round no more torment in your life no more manipulation in your life every legal hold is swallowed up so shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Put those hands together for Jesus. Turn right now, follow this man. Turn, follow this man right now. Turn and follow him. Put your hands together for Jesus. Any arrow of disfavor fired against you and your household, I decree that evil veil be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. From today, no more limits over your family. No more limits over your career. No more limits over your business. No more limits over your family destiny. Between now and June, you will be a thousand times more glorious. You will be a thousand times more fulfilled. A thousand times more successful. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, let the doors begin to open for you. Let opportunities begin to look for you. Let your helpers begin to emerge. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Wave your hand unto God and give him glory for answered prayer. We thank you, ancient of days. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed.